Stephen stands strong. Jesus died to forgive our sin, then rose on Easter morn. His friends believed, the message spread, and the Christian church was born. Jesus sent out the apostles, sharing his word far and near. They preached the message of God's love for all the people to hear. Stephen trusted in God's strong love. He also wanted to tell about the work of Jesus Christ and his love with man to dwell. Stephen watched the apostles' work. So many needed care. Who could assist them in their task, saving God's saving word to share? They wanted to find some helpers to serve the needy and poor. So seven deacons were chosen to spread God's word some more. Stephen was one of the seven. His work began right away. He showed the people God's power and taught God's gracious ways. Some men disagreed with Stephen and said his teaching was wrong. Jesus was not God's son, they said, and they argued all day long. So Stephen explained with wisdom how God had worked of old to show how he loved his people through prophets brave and bold. Stephen described how Abraham trusted God's wonderful plan. He became father to Isaac as he lived in the promised land. He also talked about Joseph and troubles that made him sad. But Joseph believed and trusted that God could bring good from bad. God called Moses to lead the way so Israel could be set free. As he walked through the dry Red Sea, God was all that he would need. As Stephen finished describing God's gracious and loving ways, the men became very angry. But Stephen was not afraid. He knew that of God of Moses, of Abraham Joseph too, was Jesus Christ who came to earth to save him and me and you. The men tried to get rid of Stephen and to kill his words of peace. But Stephen stood strong and trusted in our God whose love won't cease. So also will God embrace you. He will shield you with his love. Even when your life is over, you'll go to heaven above. Let what you say about Jesus be wise and brave and bold as Stephen's defense of Jesus and God's mercy from of old.